Oh, hi. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't been on YouTube for a while, and, um, and I'm hoping that fairly soon I'll be back when I move, or maybe even before that. But um, I found out on YouTube just today that Gunnar Hansen died, and um, I, I wanted to share my thoughts on that. Um, I was at a horror convention, horror convention, about a few months ago. I think it was July, maybe, or I think it was July. And amongst other things that happened there, uh, Gunnar Hansen was there signing autographs, and um, as well as um, two other members of the Leather, Leatherface family, the guy that played Grandpa and the guy that played the Hitchhiker in the film. Um, and anyways, uh, so he was there, and um, first thing that I did there earlier in the day was I waited in a line, I got my Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, DVD signed, so I'll show you, so show it to you. It uh, says, um, well, I'm terrible at this, but uh, let's see. Uh, as you see, it says, Brian, you're dead meat, Gunnar Hansen. So. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty great, good sense of humor there, I think, you know. Um, and it says, Brian, you're next, Gunnar Hansen. So, you know, I, I, I think that's a really good sense of humor he, ha he has. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if he knew that he had pancreatic cancer at the time that he was at that horror convention. I, I have no idea, but... Um, you know, I, um, and also I, I wanted to do this video because my father passed away of pancreatic cancer in 2006, 2006, and, uh, he was diagnosed with it around December of 2005, and, uh, you know, when I saw Gunnar Hansen at this horror convention, he didn't seem like, like he looked like he was in bad health or anything. You know, he looked like he didn't have cancer. He, he didn't look like he was very um, thin or anything like that. But I don't know, maybe in the past few months he, he hasn't looked too good. Anyways, at this hor horror convention, um, later in the day, uh, there was uh, um, a... Um, Discussion, you know, a panel discussion um, about about the making of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, Gunnar Hansen and um, you you probably know on YouTube land um, who the other two people are that played the roles of Grandpa and the Hitchhiker and they've been in other movies like one of them I think was in JFK you know because I saw like the uh, other things that they were in at their booths, but I, I didn't. I didn't get my DVD signed by those two guys because it, 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 you you pay a lot of money for all the sorts of things you buy, and you're paying by cash. And I was running low on cash, so I just I couldn't buy. You know, I couldn't get all these autographs. So, but anyways, he seemed like he had a lot of humility, good sense of humor. He had great sense of you know uh, respect for the fans and. You know, I, I will say that um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not my favorite ho horror film. It's um, probably The Shining, my favorite director, Kubrick, as my name, as my YouTube channel goes, Kubrick Lover in 1972. And, you know, I like uh, George Romero's original Night of the Living Dead, and, and his sequel is very good, too, Dawn of the Dead, the, the original Dawn of the Dead. And, of course, I love Alien by Ridley Scott. I think that's one of his best movies. Of course, Blade Runner is a masterpiece. But in, in, in any event, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not a horrible ho horror film at all. You know, it's a pretty good film. And I think they did it on 16mm as a recount from the commentary. And, you know, it's a really well-done piece of ho horror. You know, done like with... Uh, 
I know I'm, I'm laughing because I'm I, I, I'm not pronouncing horror correctly. I, I'm getting I, I can't I just can't seem to do it right. But in any event, um, yeah, that that was a good movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, and, uh, there was a there's a guy on here. They were talking about hor horror films um, it, it, recently. Because Halloween was approaching, and one guy, Channel Downstar Rogers, name is he was talking about the fact that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you could expect this kind of thing possibly actually happening, whereas an alien in space and zombies, who knows? But and that's that's scary too. But you know, if you're out in the you know the, the middle of nowhere, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a possible situation you could find yourself in. And it was based on a guy who had all these body parts in like a barn or in refrigerators or something. Ed Gein, which is also, which also influenced the film Psycho, which I th think is a masterpiece, you know. But so you know, and a lot of interesting things about that film, like they they hired John Larroquette to do the um, opening prologue with the you know the the uh, monologue at the start, you know, to sound like Orson Welles, I guess. I found the, these these little things out because um, I saw the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the Alamo Draft House, and um, Joe Bob Briggs, of uh, um, he, he does these. I, I don't know what channel cable channel works for because I don't really, really don't watch cable, but he does these horror. Well, I don't know if he does, doesn't just do horror. I think he does other things too. But he was talk, he was there and he was talking about all the, you know, things, about all the, uh, all the interesting things about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like he said, the house was so, smelled so disgusting that one of the cast members, oh, sorry about the little <coughs> um, problem with the ending of the video. I thought I had um, um, ended it at the very end, and apparently not so. So I'll just continue on with what I was saying, which is that the house smelled so bad that one of the actors vomited. Um, and um, anyways, um, so, you know, I, so I'm just saying, uh, I hope uh, Gunnar Hansen's family and friends are you know, um, comforted by who he was as a person and, you know, that, um, you know, his fans can live through him, you know, they can, they can, you know, they can relive the experiences now for time in memorial because he's, you know, immortalized his leather face in, in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, and, um, so I just wanted to say what I had to say because, you know, my father having pancreatic cancer and, the um, Gunnar Hansen having the same thing and, and just, just also talking about how, what, you know, how nice the guy Gunnar Hansen was when I met him. And, um, it's just a tragedy that I had to pass away at 68, you know, I could have lived a little longer, but in any event, I, I hope, uh, he died, you know, relatively less pain as possible so uh that that's what i wanted to say and uh thank you very much thank you bye